Well, it's that magical time of the year where some abandoned, unoccupied, large building at the back of a strip mall becomes a little Halloween wonderland. And everyone who does anything on YouTube goes there to make a video. So I'm not into all of the store. I love seeing what the new themes are and a few of the other things. So let's go on and check out the spirit in Reno. Oh, we got our little animal skeletons and humans. I like the new shark one. <laughs> the new octopus is stupid. <laughs> um, I bought a cat one once when I, when Zatanna was still alive. One of the skeletons, like a zombie cat. And I said it was a, a lifelike statue of her. She was pretty thin and round and sickly. Um, and people thought that was just terrible of me. I thought it was funny. Because I loved that little thing. It looks like they don't have all the animatronics set up, so my luck for Halloween's not strong this year. It's like those zombie babies. I used to uh, used to keep a zombie baby in the back window of my car, but the heat and the sun and it destroys them. Oh, there she is. There's the cat I bought. It said, I said it was Zatanna. Everyone told me that I was just an awful person for doing that. I loved the little cat. And she was dying. So that's what she looked like. And a few more of the animatronic ones. Some sort of fishing theme. I don't know. A lot of clowns. They look okay. Let's go. There's, these are animatronics are set up. Yet. Oh, there he goes. Made her lose American Idol. Or America's Got Talent. She's not doing anything? Stay away! Ah. A leaper. So yeah, I'm not super impressed with them this year. Um, I've worked a lot of haunts and created some of this stuff, so. But, you know, oh, and here's never buy these. Overpriced, lousy, cheap costumes. Really honestly, the bad stuff. You can thrift center better stuff. Props are okay if you, you know, clean them up. That trench knife is nice. I've got to add some weathering to it. Put some of these, make good props that, to scare people. Because, you know, unless you know what you're doing, don't carry a real prop. I used to carry a real prop. I knew what I was doing. Not that I, you know, it's just, it's dangerous. You, you got to dull the blades and do all kinds of things really pay attention to your surroundings well, well I like the basic bats there's a Negan bat of course oh yeah Okay. I was impressed with that. I'm impressed with. I would wear that. I like that bowl mask. Okay, let's go in the shark tank. 
Excuse me. Okay, octopus. You know, I know you'll see these on everything, so we're not gonna. Hopefully, we'll just catch one hot. Oh, piranhas are gonna eat them. Okay. Called angler fish. Oh, because they got the little lights. Okay, they're angler fish. And puffer fish, it's called. Oh, what's he gonna do? This one's the the biggie this year. And it'll sell. Oh, it's not. It's the one where the shark hits. Oh well, it's not gonna hit. Well, those are most of the simple things here. And unfortunately, there's a whole bunch of cool-looking things there, like the Arctic dragon. That's probably neat. Um, my hint for everybody is: come here, take a look at what you like. Come back on September 1st, everything is half off, and the demo stuff is even more than half off. So those things that have been standing out there, people have been playing with, um, sometimes they don't work, which is okay if it's just gonna be a decoration at your house. Um, I had a Michael Myers and a Jason and a few others. I don't really have any licensed characters this year that I would be interested in and come back for. So. It's really great when you, you know, have on the balcony of, a, of an apartment Michael Myers and Jason standing there. They didn't have to move. People just saw them up there. Um, yeah. <clears throat> oh, there's Sam. Okay, we got Sam. So, well, that's about it from here. We got a little Halloween story to tell you in a minute. Well, I'm right outside the spirit store now. I'm gonna sit in the cool breeze. It's not that air conditioned in there. And uh, it's a fun place. It's cute. Um, I wouldn't waste a lot of money on the stuff there, but some of it's fun. And I've worked haunts for many, many years. And this year I'm gonna try and get a couple haunts in on videotape for you. Or videotape, Jesus Christ, how old? Um, did, whatever, I'm gonna record some haunts. I probably won't do the inside where the actors are and whatnot, even with permission. Um, I know, for one, the carpet bagger has complained that he can't go film at all haunts. Some of them won't let him film the inside. And he doesn't get it. And not many people would, because they look at it like museums and other things. Like, I don't get museums not letting you film inside. I don't get the Winchester Mystery House having a no filming policy. Because people see what's in there, and they do want to go and see it after seeing a, it on a video. The thing is, it's different with haunts. Yes, haunts do attract people when you show them what's in there. And you do get a lot of people that come in. The problem is you get a few jerks, and those few jerks can hurt people. Um, there are people that think it's funny to go figure out where the scares are gonna be coming from and then hide just before it so they can jump out and scare the actor or do something. A lot of times the actor's not expecting someone around that spot or they don't know someone was hidden there and maybe you'll bump heads or do something and get hurt. And a lot of the actors are kids, really little kids, not little, you know, like 14 years old, 15 years old that are volunteering at a lot of these places. Um, and, you know, the person will just bah, at them and they hurt the kid. That's not cool. So I personally don't want to show people where the scare actors will be hidden for that reason. Um, showing animatronics, showing the outside, showing the whole thing. That's, I think, cool. But that's why a lot of the haunts don't want it. I knew when I worked at haunts, when I saw someone cop... Uh, walking through and they had a, a camera 
I purposely timed my scare to be behind the camera person. So they missed it every single time. That was what other people did. We wanted them to miss the scares. Uh, we didn't say no cameras allowed, but we didn't encourage it. And the reason behind that is, of course, is when someone's on, you know, walking around with a camera, they're not in the moment, they have not dropped so, uh, the disbelief or whatever, um, suspension of disbelief. Uh, they are just filming it and they are not in the moment. And you really want everyone in the moment because it works then and everyone gets excited and everyone reacts off each other. And if you have one scared person, you're going to have two scared people. If you have two scared people, you're going to have four scared people because they all get scared together. S you know, scared is contagious. Um, so that is a main reason I don't in didn't encourage cameras. Um, we couldn't stop them really because people just keep pulling them out anyhow we didn't take you know but uh yeah, don't like it and since i you know that's just my feelings on filming the inside is i don't want people to see where the scares are coming from they're going to possibly hurt someone that's the biggest fear and the smaller fears are going to know where the scare is and spoil it for a whole bunch of other people and that's not cool people pay a lot of money to go to those things so that's my take on filming inside the haunted houses. I hope somehow this gets to the carpet bag, or I doubt it ever will. But at least that's a reason why some of us haunt actors uh, do not want cameras inside. All right. Thanks, folks. Uh, go have a spooky Halloween. Uh, it's a ways away still, but stuff is popping up. Ooh.